doing High Cancer, BBT. I'm doing a quick read in you versus all signs because it's late at night. I'm tired. I want to go to sleep. All right. So for my moon child, my moon children. All right. Let's get this show on the road. Put that back in. All right. Cancer dealing with an Aries. Please remember, this cannot and will not resonate with each and every one of you. Do not force it to fit. It is not your story. Dealing with an Aries. At the moment, they're kind of in indecision about the Four of Wands. It's like they want a family with you. They want the end or be all with you. Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, they want a passionate new beginning with you, but they're in indecision. They could already have a family with somebody else. I think they want to move in with you. They want you guys to probably merge families, do everything else. But we have this third party lingering in the background. It could be their ex, could be the father of their children, if this is a family person. A king of swords, a Gemini. The energy I'm feeling here is... The Aries wants to move forward with you. They want to have this new beginning. They want that all with you, but they've got this person hanging about in the background. I'm not even sure they even like them, to be honest with you. Clarify the King of Swords. Who's the King of Swords to Aries? The Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Well, they're not offering them anything. That person's just hanging around in the background. Okay. Alright. If you're dealing with a Taurus, Taurus is holding back from you because of competition, strife, and jealousy and gossip. Alright. Cancer dealing with a Gemini. Dealing with a Gemini, they could be already married. Wow, okay. Um, Cancer, if you're dealing with a Gemini, we've got a couple out here. This is a married couple. Queen of Pentacles and the Emperor, that's a married couple. You could be married to this Gemini. You could be this Emperor or you could be this Queen of Pentacles. Take what resonates, but either way, this Gemini is married. They're in a relationship with someone else. Someone who's a boss, possibly... Um, could be an Aries. Can I find the Queen of Pentacles? If you're the Queen of Pentacles, if this is how Gemini is seeing you, they're not over you. They're not healing from you. What is the Emperor? What is the Emperor? Okay, well, there was... Dealing with a Gemini, their wish fulfillment is an emperor. They could want a spouse, they could want a, you know, a, a father or whatever. They could want you to boss the fuck up, that's their wish fulfillment. Alright, this Gemini could want you to boss up, be a, be a man, be a woman, be an emperor. Alright. But they're, they're not getting over you. Their wish fulfillment is for you to be the person you're supposed to be. A leader, a boss. Yeah, you're the, you're the soulmate. Oh, come on, you're soulmate. I want an equal give and take. Who the hell is this queen of wands? Manifesting. Someone's using black magic. Come on, mate. who the hell is this queen of wands? Could be somebody you work with. Making a judgment call. Oh, there could be something going on with the court system here. We now have the Queen of Cups out here. Use your intuition. Six of Swords. Tell me where to find my shores. <laughs> Rejection. Boredom. Missed opportunity. You could have had a missed opportunity with this Queen of Wands. Or the Gemini had a missed opportunity with the Queen of Wands. I don't know. This reading's a bit fucked up. Let's just get fucking on with it. Jesus. Cancer dealing with another cancer. They feel stuck and stagnant and they're spying on you. Why the hangman? They could be dealing with the Pisces. Why the hangman? The Ten of Pentacles on the side. Indecision about a family situation. This isn't moving anywhere, so they're spying on you. They want a family with you. Alright. If you're dealing with a Leo. 
sense of dealing with the Leo. Some truth has come out about this Leo. Some of the swords in the reverse. They put you in competition. They pretended to be the wounded warrior and they held back from you. Competition, let jealousy, strife and gossip. They could have gossiped about you and you found it out. The Seven of Swords in the reverse. Truth has come out about a Leo being deceptive, sneaky, lying, cheating, stealing, all of that nonsense. Right. You're dealing with a Virgo. Whoa, far too many. Alright, dealing with a the Virgo. They're coming in quick. Possibly in, in a mood, in anger. They're not getting an equal give and take from you. Soulmate cards in the reverse. Not moving forward. You're not, there's no wish fulfillment here. The Virgo feels let down. Let's just put it that way, okay? Virgo feels let down by you. Alright, if you're dealing with a Libra. Oh, fuck me. Okay. If you're dealing with a, uh, a Libra. I'll turn it in the upright. The Libra feels like a wounded warrior. It's caused a tower moment. And they're going to walk away. They're closing out the cycle. All this is due to them. Because of a king of wands. Someone had a new beginning with a king of wands and they're happy about it. This is causing a tower and somebody walking away. It's causing the other person to be a wounded warrior. Alright, if you're dealing with a Scorpio. Scorpio is hiding something or they are highly intuitive. They're... Hmm... I'm not reading reversals today. I think a Scorpio is going to offer you an apology, or they're hiding the fact that they owe you an apology. What's the High Priestess? Oh, yeah, I think they owe you an apology. And they're hiding this. They know they need to do this. Alright, that's if you're dealing with a Scorpio. I'm not going to get into it. I've just heard someone say, well, what did they do? I'm not getting into it. Sorry, I can't tonight. Alright, if you're dealing with the Sagittarius. The Sagittarius in, is in quiet reflection about making a choice between you and possibly a Gemini. Alright, if you're dealing with a Capricorn. Cancer dealing with Capricorn. Capricorn wants to drop all these burdens and have a passionate new beginning. They want to have a lot of sex. Whatever happened in the past, they just want to drop it, move forward, and get straight back into the bedroom. Alright, if you're dealing with an Aquarius. Dealing with an Aquarius. The Aquarius is not single. I might have told you they were, but they're not single. Uh, there's someone else here. They're having a celebration. They're not single, uh, they could have literally just been taken off the market and now in the celebration, but this is third party. Alright, if you're dealing with a Pisces, Cancer dealing with a Pisces. Oh dear, okay. Dealing with a Pisces, uh, they want to offer you um, a small token. You know, something tangible. They're waiting for the ships to come in. They could be using black magic here, but a lot of manipulation going on here. Um, they're not healing from a situation, though. I'm just hearing this Pisces is going to be very emotionally manipulative to get, get what they want. And what they want, Cancer, is you. They want to move forward with you. Yeah. By all means necessary, yeah. The devil's just come out of the bottom of the deck. The devil. Ace of Cups and Three of Pentacles. By all means necessary. Uh, this Pisces will do anything it takes. Just to be near you. You could be well sought after. Okay. Alright guys, that's your read. I'm done.